Hey, what's going on everybody? Supercar Street Racing here. We're in Studio B and I'm here with the Mucar 892BT. Mucar was kind enough to reach out and send us several products. We have a bunch of Mucar products to check out. This is one of them, the 892BT. A big, nice screen on it. It does everything you need for checking out your car. It's a full bi-directional scanner so it can do resets and coding and everything like that that you need when you are looking at a OBD2 Bluetooth scanner. Now let's get busy with this today. We got a lot to do. Let's check it out right now on Supercar Street Racing now. We're in the beautiful Supercar Street Racing Studio B right now. This is the studio that's inside of the house. We have another one out on the outside, that's Studio A. But in here, we can edit and do whatever we want and enjoy the nice sanctity of the Supercar Street Racing compound. And today we have the Mucar 892BT, not related at all to a cow. It's just an OBD2 scanner that does bi-directional full screen scanning, ECU coding, 35 different services, FCA auto off. It does CAN FD DOIP, and it has free lifetime upgrades. Now the best thing about this thing is it is a eight inch screen, ultra large display, runs on Android 10. It has a four core processor, four gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage on the tablet. This means that all the responses are rapid and in very big view. Now this thing also has AI technology. I know that is a buzzword these days, but it uses AI technology to retrieve and analyze your fault codes. It supports over 140 brands of cars. And the cool thing also is it interfaces with the actual actuators in the car so that you can interact with the vehicle directly through the scanner. You can reset things like the oil change, fuel injectors, BMS, and lots of other functions are available to be reset with the Mucar 892BT. You can also do coding, so you can code your vehicle for special features that you might not have directly from the factory. Now this thing has both professionals and amateurs in mind, so it's designed to actually do everything you need if you don't know a lot about cars or you don't know a lot about mechanics. You can still use this thing to check out your car and see what's wrong with it and possibly fix it without paying thousands of dollars to some dealership. And it supports CAN, FD, and DO IP for faster communications. Okay, now that we've looked at some of the features and cool things that the 892BT can do, let's go ahead ahead and get this thing unboxed. All right, everybody, this is the Mucar 892BT that we're gonna go ahead and take a look at and unbox today. You can see right here, very clean on the outside of the box and there's what the top looks like right there. Let's get it flipped around for you guys. And on the back, it just shows you a lot of the product details professional automotive diagnostic tool right there. And that is about it. There's not a whole lot to see on the outside of the box. So let's go ahead and unbox it now. Gotta be smarter than the box. And inside of the box, there is a cool case. Very cool carrying case that comes with it. Very neat. I like the extra touch and the attention to detail by giving you a nice carrying case. Now let's see what's inside of it. And we do have a network cable and some manuals here. Now that is for when you don't use the Bluetooth part of it. And then here is the actual tablet, so flying fresh right inside of there. Really cool looking black with some blue highlights and a kickstand on the back. And it also does have a magnetic OBD2 Bluetooth reader right here. It sticks right on the back right there for you. And there's what the tablet looks like right there. And if you go ahead and power it on just like this, it should be charged up, let's see. It is, you can see it's starting up right there. There might be a slight glare on there. Now I cheated, I already 
powered this guy up and I did update it because it takes a few hours to go ahead and update. So I've already done that part, but it is booting up right now, as you can see. And checking on the inside of the box, we do have a wired OBD2 adapter with that network cable that you can use or an OBD2 cable that you can use. We've got a ethernet adapter to USB. That is for this side of the tablet. If you were to get on this side, with the, with the network cable. We've got a USB charger, and that is basically it. The rest of everything with the Moo car needs to be done in the actual truck, which we are gonna do. We're gonna take it across the street and check it out over at Rich's house. Hey guys, we wanna welcome Sofern to the channel with our HS22 rechargeable headlamp. Now directly on my head right here, you can see this headlamp so fly and so fresh, and Sofern wanted you guys to check it out because this thing is perfect for camping, running, outdoor use, but I plan to use it directly up in the attic every time I go up there. I do a lot of stuff up there and I always need a headlamp and this thing is so cool because it's detachable from the strap here you literally just pull it out directly like this comes off like that and then on top there are only two buttons for the whole entire flashlight one of them is power and it also controls it from spot flood and spot flood so you just press that hold it down and then click it and it changes the brightness and look how bright that is guys and then the other side changes the color temperature. So two buttons to do everything on the Sofern. It is rechargeable. There is a USB-C type port right there. The battery just does screw directly into here. It comes with a rechargeable lithium battery right there. This thing does 2,500 lumens. It's very powerful and the battery is up to 400 hours in runtime. Now the strap right here is adjustable. You just have to adjust a couple of little buckles right there to change it for your particular head. It's IP66 waterproof rated as well. So it's perfect for taking out into the moisture. And the lights go all the way down from 2700K, which is a warm white, all the way up to 6500K, which is cool white. There's a look at the color temperatures, the brightness here, 2500 lumens. And you can see here also the way the color temperature works outside. So go ahead and grab a Sofern HS22 from the link in the description. Tell them Supercar Street Racing sent you. Now let's get back to the video. Guys, we're out here in Patricia's Kia Sorento again with the Moo Car 892BT. I have not even opened this yet, even though you guys will see that before this part of the video. I have not really opened it, but it will be edited out of order. Here's the Moo Car 892BT inside of its box, and this is a cool case. It comes in right here. You can see it comes with this bad boy case. Let's get it out of the case and then get the case where we don't need it because we're not going there. Now, opening this, look at this cool presentation. You get this really nice case with the Mucar 892BT. Let's go ahead and open that up and get it out of the box and out of its case. And inside, we have an Ethernet cable there. I guess you have the ability to connect to Ethernet if you do not connect via Bluetooth. Here is the actual tablet. There is a charger inside here as well. There is a USB-A to USB type C cable in here. There is a ethernet cable and there's the OBD2 adapter that goes from a male OBD2 to either a female OBD2 or your ethernet cable right there. I'm assuming you would connect this ethernet cable from there to the Mucar to go ahead and use it that way. Now, I don't know if this is charged up. Ah, there's the Bluetooth adapter on the back. You can see it looking so fly and so fresh. So that's all we need. And she does have a USB type C cable laying here. So conveniently for us to plug into the Moo car in case it is not charged. And on top, you see the USB A connector and you see the USB C. The USB C is going to be for charging. I went ahead and connected it. Let's see what happens on the screen. And then we have a peel sat right there and it did light up. There is a peel sat and the Moo car is lighting up right now. On the back, all we have to do is take off this OBD2 port thing and throw it into Patricia's OBD2 port down here. Her OBD2 port is right here. All right, it is in and there is a green light on the bottom. Let us go ahead and power on. It's powering up, you can see that now. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this thing to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect to my phone hotspot. Okay, we are now connected to my phone hotspot. Now, this thing is going to want to upgrade, but it takes a very long time to do that. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and diagnose the vehicle with the tablet. So I'm gonna to go to auto search. This is gonna look for the VIN. It is scanning for the VIN and it make a cool sound while it was doing it. It did find the Kia Sorento here. Let's let it load and see if we find the same fault 
that we found on the other OBD2 scanner. I'm going to select the US model and do a health report on this car. And there it goes. It's starting the health report. Going through all of the systems right now, scanning them. Let's see if it gets an AC code. It did get the AC code. Both of them got the AC fault. Now this is cool because it's looking through all of the available systems and the ones that aren't available it says not equipped on them it is 40 percent done 60 percent done now with the system scan at 70 percent now and the car is at 14.6 volts all right so the same fault code came up on this one as the other one it is b128111 it did not load anything, so I'm going to Google search it. Don't forget, this thing can also do a lot of maintenance items. It can do resets of your various systems in your car as well. Let's say your SRS needs to be reset or your TPMS sensor or anything like that. And there is some information there about Kia Hyundai Air AC evaporator sensor. And that's exactly what we were looking for. All right, that's how you take screenshots. There is a little icon you can get into from the top by swiping down so to go back to where we were we swiped left and there's a whole description of the code i'm gonna go ahead and exit that you can save your reports and you can email them later or download them from the actual device now in obd2 you can read fault codes you can clear fault codes and there is our information and all of the protocols for the vehicle Here's a history of diagnosis reports. There's the one that we did. There's a community platform for you to go on for dollar fix. Here's a bunch of testing you can do. Read IM readiness. Read live data. You can select which live data you want to read and then click OK. Now here is a bunch of live data about what's going on with the car right now in real time. Throttle position sensor, catalyst, things like that can all be read in real time. You can actually record these and make a report. Now, I didn't select everything. I just selected some of them. But there are plenty more down here. All your different types of data for your, for your car. Engine fuel rate, engine coolant rate, fuel level. Everything can be looked at in real time. I can select all these guys right here and click OK. And we are reading all of that data right here on the tablet. But yeah, this thing does some cool stuff. There is a lot of things you can do with the Moo car, like resetting diagnostics on your car. You can read your codes. You can look up your codes online or with AI. You can create reports and then send them out. And just so many cool things. This thing just does everything. Here's all the reset functions, air fuel, ABS, add blue, adaptive lighting. There's just all kinds of different things, airbag, brakes. So when you do need to do maintenance on your car, you have the capability to do almost everything that this can support on your car. So this is a professional tool for just anyone, really. You can do everything with this thing. Oil reset, rainfall light reset. So many cool things are available here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this part of the video for the Mucar 892BT. Make sure you check it out. Let's throw it inside to Studio B to see where you can get your own Mukar 892BT. All right, guys, we're back in front of Studio B here to show you guys this 892BT by Mukar AI assisted bi directional scan tool. You can see right here it is $519. It is 20% off right now if you try to go ahead and get one. And this thing does a lot of cool stuff. It has so many cool features. It has an eight inch display, four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. It has AI assisted diagnostics for you, a full system diagnosis, a bi-directional control active testing, 35 plus services, advanced ECU coding as well. And of course, wireless Bluetooth freedom. You don't have to use a cable. And here's a look at some of the different features on this guy. There's all your things that it can do, bi-directional, 35 plus services, do IP, can FD. There it shows you the AI assisted analysis also. And of course, advanced ECU coding for enhanced vehicle performance. It makes general vehicles be like the Lux vehicles. You can open up some of the hidden features. There's the bi-directional controls that allow you to change things like your headlights, 
read your codes, clear your codes, mess with your mirrors, your brakes, your wheel speed sensors, etc. And here's all your system diagnostics here. And it says it does 34 services and functions. And here they are all listed on the screen right now. Now this thing says that it has global car coverage. It can reach 99% of all the cars. And here's some of its features as well. It's a lightweight design, powerful processing unit, 28 languages, online support, simple pages, wireless sharing, and lifetime free upgrades for updating the hardware. Mucar is a huge sponsor of Supercar Street Racing. Please tell them that I sent you if you go ahead and pick up one from the link in the description. I think you're going to like this thing. It's going to make any shade tree mechanic become a pro and I am very happy to be partnered with them. And thank you guys for 225,000 subscribers. I could have not done it without you, but make sure you buy anything you want from Amazon through any of the product links doesn't have to be that exact product. All you have to do is click through one of my links and it helps me out greatly. We're gonna get out of here right now though. It's getting late in the day and we got a lot of stuff to do.